I'm Quinn Rhee with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Television Academy for the LA Area Emmys. We're going to be talking to some of the local broadcasters about their nominations. <laughs> so what are you nominated for? Uh, feature reporting and for our work that we did when we covered the papal conclave in Rome when they elected Pope Francis as an next pope. Oh, very nice. And do you know what you're presenting? Uh, sports. Sports oh. series and sports teases. Oh, lovely. Which I love, so yeah. that's great. Big sports fan? Big sports fan. All across the board, you name it. What are, who are your teams? Well, I'm big on college teams, so I, so I like the Bruins and I like the Trojans. Okay. So being from the East Coast, I can say that so I can split my loyalties, right? Very That's fair, nice. right? Yes. So you got your start on the East Coast? It's a really long story, but I'll tell you in brevity. Okay. I was one of those people that wanted to extend my college career because I was having such a good time. Nice. So I decided to go to graduate school, okay. and I got my first job in New York City. That was oh. my very first job. They were extending, this is how old, long ago this was, they were extending the broadcast day, 24 hours a day, because we used to sign up at midnight. Okay. And so they thought they needed an overnight anchor who was young because people were st who were staying up in the overnight hours were young. Yeah. So they hired young people. And <laughs> since I was right out of Columbia Journalism School, they hired me. Oh. And it was great. Very nice. But I came out here because my whole life, all I wanted to do was report, yeah. not, not be behind a desk. So yeah. that's fun. Great. And so how long have you been in L.A. for? I've been in L.A. since 1990. Okay. And I've been in this market many years, and it's an unbelievable market. It's an unbelievable, I think it's funny because coming from the East Coast, people don't take L.A. as seriously as they should. Mm -hmm. And we have top-notch journalists, yes. top-notch storytellers, okay. top-notch photographers all across the board. Mm -hmm. We are the nation's second largest market, but yeah. when you look at the new networks and they do their feeding, you know, they pick up other people from other markets. Mm -hmm. They look at Seattle, they look at Atlanta, they look at Boston. They should really pay attention to LA because we've got great people. I agree. <laughs> so as a seasoned vet, what kind of advice do you have for um, aspiring broadcasters and anchors? Um, you know, the world, the, the, the world in which we live in is changing so quickly as journalists. So it is very important that you have the pulse on social media because we're now in this immediacy world. We don't wait for the 11 o'clock news to break stories. You've got to break it yeah. on social media and then save the nuggets so people will watch you at 11 to find out what else you've got for them. Stay on top of the stories. And since there's so many opportunities out there, so many different channels, so many different platforms, become an expert in something. Okay. So when a, net, a news director or when someone needs you, become that person that knows they're like, I'm going to turn to you because you know everything yeah. there is to know about that subject. And I think that's really important as we awesome. move forward. Awesome. That's great advice. Sure. Thank you so much and congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. It's a great night no matter what. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit like. Be sure to subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment telling me who your favorite local broadcaster is. Mine's Julie Chang.